Hi guys, another interview. Uh, van dwellers from Vancouver, Eddie and Monica. I have a disadvantage this time. Monica has her own channel, and uh, I'm going to post that in the link below. Let's get at it. Okay, we're going to do an interview with a van dwelling couple this time. And uh, what's your name? Monica. And your husband? Eddie. Eddie. Hus uh, Monica and Eddie. Uh, what kind of a van do you live in here? Um, this is actually um, an extended van, or um, they call it a full-size van at the time. Um, it's a little bit longer than some vans. Um, and it unfortunately doesn't have a high roof, but <laughs> it, it works for us. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is Dodge, right? Yes, sorry. Dodge, Dodge product. Room. TV, which is always nice to have. <laughs> and what about the cabinets and everything in here? Did Eddie build this all himself? Yes, um, out of pretty much all of its recycled material. Um, oh, wow. Like the cabinets are kitchen cabinets <laughs> um, that we just converted and all of our clothing is in here and the rest of it comes from either dressers or wood that's been thrown out um, at lumber mills and things like that okay um, that we just repurposed used uh, recycled lumber exactly and even even our flooring um, is oh yeah giving it away, nice so. hardwood flooring or vinyl whatever it is it's nice yeah, hardwood. that's real wood yes oh wow and I see you have a wood stove here. Yes. A Dickinson wood stove. Perfect. Love the little fireplace. Yeah, nice and warm and cozy. Nice and warm and <laughs> cozy. Yes. Uh, what's the siding stuff? It's fireboard. So, oh, okay. Um, fireboard. To keep, like exactly. for heat? It, it, well, it, it prevents any heat from transferring any further. Okay. Um, it's, I believe it's just covered in cement mixed with some other chemicals that are completely fire retardant. Oh. So there's no chance of any heat getting to any of the wood or anything. Good supply of wood here. <laughs> yes, too much. I, I was in the middle of putting it away properly so that it wasn't so okay. hot. Okay. And uh, what about, I see you've got a, like a table there or something. What, uh, yes, um, what's all so this here? We, we have um, a lot of our food and, and extra stuff is kept in the, the cabinet. Okay. And Eddie created um, Oh, look at this, that. This door, so this door actually latches, sorry, it latches in right. um, with a latch here and it keeps anything inside when we're traveling so look it right won't on. be coming out and it also converts into a table. Oh, there you go, look and at that. And we just keep the leg here oh. and there okay. we go, so the table can be anywhere Ah, the there you way. go, and you can both eat. Exactly, or do work or whatever. Yeah, right on. Maybe. That's handy. And the uh, it's on this side. Inside the cupboards as well, um, we keep all our utensils and spices and things like that. Oh, look at that! And they latch up as well, so when it's super cold, um, it prevents a lot of the wind and air coming oh, in from the, the windows behind. Oh, the stuff. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. So an extra insulation. So I area. see you have lots of storage, but it's all like uh, locked down somehow. It's locked in, so it doesn't. Yep. Fall around, move around. Either with latches or um, like cupboards. Little, yeah. Latches. So, like everything is secure and doesn't really come flying out. Perfect. And what about the bed? Is that like a, an actual size bed? Like yep. a this queen a, size or double or whatever double. they call it? It's, it's a double, it's eh? It's a proper double. Um, oh. So, you can buy actual double mattresses if you want. Yes, absolutely. We just we chose not to. We chose to go with. Um, a high density foam, foam. Um, mainly because it's really hard to find a mattress that's only four inches high and that was the only clearance we had um, to the cupboards oh, okay. so we wouldn't be able to open our cupboards if we put a, a six inch now foam. what problem I have with the with the foam rubber is if you're sitting like where you are and you have a tendency to sit there same place all the time does the yeah. foam no we actually we bought 
pretty much the best quality uh, you can buy. Might as well buy the and, best right away. And it actually makes a huge difference. We, we did have um, a less expensive foam in here before. Yeah. And it did exactly what That's what I'm about. having problems with. Yeah. It turns so, color and it, it sags right where you sit every time. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, it, it, probably time for a new foam. Yeah. And uh, we, there's actually a discount place here in Vancouver that we discovered a few years ago. Oh, wow. So, uh, yeah, we just... I might have to get that there. name from you. And if you have an odd size, they'll actually cut it right to your size. No way. So lots of times RVs don't quite fit or they're longer or shorter. Do you know the name of the place? Uh, it's Discount Foam. Discount Foam. Yes. Right on. I'm going to have to go there and have a look actually. Yeah. Yeah, with this wood stove, you probably get dry heat and not propane moisture heat. Exactly. Yeah, there's no moisture. And so you get no condensation and but when we cook, or less. The windows open. Yeah, yeah. A a cooking it goes with anybody. They're going to get condensation even when they boil water for coffee or something. Exactly. So, uh, is there anything else that you can uh, let us know about the van or? Um. Well, just just like some minor things. Um, I see from the outside it's a window van, but. You must have, like on the one side there, the, the cabinets are covering. Yes. On the other side, you can open them if you like. Yes, we, we put curtains. We made curtains. Okay. Um, all the way along. So e even at nighttime, we just cover. Locked in. Every window's covered if we want. Right. Yeah, yeah I know. I've been trying to peek in the windows. I can't see it right oh, now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also tinted, tinted windows as well. So right. It, the legal limit. We, we did the maximum legal limit. Of yeah, it's engine. nice looking from outside. I like the black and the white, and the black's right where the windows are. Exactly. So wrap around, it looks very nice. So do you have a YouTube channel? Yes. And what is the name? We are Disadvantaged Journey. Disadvantaged Journey. Yes. And I'll put a link for that in my uh, description below, so that you can go and have a look and check the site out. All right, I think that'll probably do. Uh, we just simple and uh, right this is that's a good way to go over four years now so I mean it's it's doable for anybody if, if we can do four it. years four years yeah. holy smokes yeah. I'm, I'm just uh, 11 months no not even 10 months oh, wow. and I, I still love it though so and I mean we started and we just keep adding stuff to like I mean the is there we just uh, added at the end of summer yeah add bits and pieces in this yeah, the, net. the solar panel we added as we drove up to the Yukon so I don't know how the que like the answer or the question for this is like why did you choose to live in a van and instead of a, a brick house like sticks and bricks our, house our last child left the house yeah and we became empty nesters <laughs> and at, at empty the time nesters. um I've, I've had three back surgeries so at, at the time i was pretty much bedroom bound oh boy I stayed in there all day every day uh, not doing much because it hurt so <laughs> You are like I've I've bumped into a whole bunch of van dwellers from Vancouver that do it for the money to save money. Oh. You didn't start that way, right? No, we didn't start that way. That that's but just it, a byproduct. It just comes, but yeah. yeah, it's just a byproduct of the, the life choice that we chose to have. We want to. My my husband saw me sitting in the bedroom all the time and <laughs> came home one day and and basically said, "Look, you can be in the van." And we can be seeing things, and you can be sitting on the bed if you want, or if you need to. Right on. That's a good. So thing. yeah, get out there and enjoy life. Much like my my story, I never got in it for saving money, but yes, that's a byproduct. You do save money because, and the least you drop, you move around, the more you the more rent you save. Exactly. So and food is not I don't consider as um, because you have to eat no matter where you are. Exactly. So I don't consider that as part of my thing. It's just the gasoline, um, the things you buy. You have the least. I'm finding out that more, or the less stuff you have, the better it is. Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah. it's, it's weird. And, and that's another byproduct too. You're not going to be buying clothes every single season because you don't have room to put them. Right. <laughs> and you don't <laughs> or need if them. You do. It's you it. have to reduce. So it, it now, makes sense. as far as like a couple goes, um, is there is there like arguments, and do you like? Well, I'm going. I'll turn my back now. Because <laughs> how um, do you how do you get away from each other? Because I mean, you have to do that. You have to sort of get away from each other yeah. at, at times. I, I, I don't. <clears throat> we've never really had that kind of relationship. We've dealt with stuff 
as it comes as it so comes. it never builds up and grows any bigger oh good and good. i mean you just also have to agree to disagree sometimes right so right if you can just keep those things in mind and yeah i mean it, two people there's two minds you got two maybe ways of doing certain things but exactly. you've got to get over that and exactly and compromise i mean compromise. Life's, life's compromise whether or not you're in a, a, a big huge mansion or or in a van you have to compromise with one another so that you can both get service with your needs and wants and desires right right is there we're, we're in vancouver right now but is there anywhere in in the world that you call home like uh, your home as opposed to this home oh absolutely <coughs> um basically we there's a family property okay um, that we stay up at in the kootenay Oh, a little too cold there it's for the winters. Too cold there right now. <laughs> we were up there uh, last week, and it was minus twenty nine at night. Oh so. boy. Yeah, and it's fine if we would have been up there because we spent two winters up there before. But when you get a snowpack, it's actually like an igloo. It, it's actually much an warmer insulator. here. But when you just go up and you don't have any snowpack, <laughs> it's on cold. Top of your van, it's <laughs> it's like very yeah. cold. I, and I mean the wood heater is wonderful. But it was it was doing a 25 degree temperature spread. But when it's minus 29, 25 degree, you're still minus four inside the van. So yeah. So I will put your uh, your channel name in the description below, so people can go have a look at you and uh, and uh, subscribe if you might. All right, Monica. Thank you for the interview. <laughs> Thanks so much. Yeah. Great.